today I'm going to show you how to make gum paste hydrangea flowers. Now these are great whether you're using them to decorate the cake on their own or adding them with other flowers. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need, your wire. So here we've just got 22 gauge wire and I have just trimmed some down already. Your gum paste or floral paste, um, a rolling pin and a smaller rolling pin or you could use a pencil. Your hydrangea cutter. Um, here I've actually got a hydrangea veiner or if you haven't got one of those but you've got a petal veiner then we could use that as well. A uh, sponge just to push the gum paste into the veiner. Some edible glue and then for afterwards I've just got some petal dust just for um, putting some highlights on there and some paintbrushes for those. And the last thing that you'll need is a craft knife and I've just got a rack just to hang them. So what we're actually going to need to start with is the gum paste that you're going to use for the centre of the flower. So we're just going to take a very small amount of that and using your edible glue and I've just taken a very small piece of wire just pop the end of that into the edible glue and then just push the tiny ball of gum paste onto that and then what you want to do is just roll that down the wire and then just take some of that off and what we want is we just want a very tiny little bud to go into the middle then what you want to do is flatten down just the edge so we've got that on there so you can either leave that like that or if you wanted to use the other side of your craft knife the blunt side and just put a little cross into the middle and then to make the actual petals take some of your color that you've decided for the petals break some of that off And what we want to do is slightly roll that out, but keep it quite thick. And then using your smaller um, rolling pin or a pencil or just something that's quite thin, what you want to do is just roll onto the sides. So what we want to do is create like a little piece of gum paste coming up from the center, which is what it we're going to use to attach it to the wire. So just keep rolling this. And what we want to do is for this point to start appearing. Until we've got it with this little dimple coming out. And then what you want to do is take your hydrangea cutter and place that over the top, but keeping the, like, the dimple in the center. And just want to cut that out. Then what we want to do is take our veiner. Now this is a veiner for a hydrangea, um, but I don't just kind of want to put that in and push it over. So what I do, and if you've got um, a petal veiner, you could use that instead. So I just place that onto that, and then taking this little sponge, making sure that I don't push on this dimple because we want that as raised as we can make it. You just push down on each of the petals this and then just peel those off so as you can see the petals have a vein on them what you want to do is take your craft knife and if you just hold it by the dimple on the back and then you just want to where the leaves come together you just push the craft knife in to those which just separates them slightly more and I think this is what makes it look a little bit more realistic. So bring that in so these have got a bigger cut on them. Take your edible glue and dip the end that has your bud on it in. So as you push that through, the glue is gonna transfer. Using the dimple on the back, what we wanna do is just roll that onto the wire. So roll that down the wire. So we've got our bud in the center and our leaves. Now as they're cut, what you wanna do is just push them all up. And you can have these going in any direction, but they kind of push up like this. And you can have some at an angle. 
Right, so there you can see we've got a hydrangea flower and the gum paste goes all the way up the wire. So when that dries, that's gonna be fully secure. Okay, so once you've created all your hydrangea flowers and left them to dry um, until they're quite hard, what you're going to need to do is take some petal dust um, now I've taken a slightly darker pink one here but you can take any kind of shade and all you want to do is dust that on and what it's going to do is pick out the veins um, and just make it so it's not one colour um, and it's going to look a bit more natural. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial and you'll enjoy making your hydrangea flowers. If you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more video tutorials then please subscribe.